One was six seniors. Out of the Big East, the third team from the Big East, they won't even one conference game. The first half was so good. They are one of the best two-man combinations in the Dante Hinton and also Chris Dunn. Tremendous backcourt players and scorers. And they will meet the winner of the first four games of the <laughs> Of a stressful couple minutes there, but then when you guys found out, just kind of what was that whole scenario like? And then when you guys finally did, how excited yeah, were you? It was, it was pretty stressful, just a lot of anxiety, like nerves and stuff. But it was relieving when we saw our name caught up on, and everyone's just excited. I think so. Should be great. You, you're in the you're in, you're in the NCAA tournament again, but you have to play Dayton on their home floor. What's how are you guys going to approach that type of game? Uh, just a road game mentality, you know. We got to go on there, just like road warriors, and just stick to the game plan and just. Uh, played out. That served you pretty well this year, though. I mean, yeah, you guys have exactly. done really well yeah, on the road. We've, we've done well on the road, so I think if we go in there with the right mentality, we should be fine. To go yeah. back to Dayton, pretty tough, obviously, right? I mean, you've been there, yeah. done that before, so I guess that's a plus. Definitely. I mean, they put on a great tournament over there last uh, last time we went two years ago, and you know we're excited to go there again. It was just the last. We don't want the same result. It was what happened last time, so hopefully we can change that. What did you see last time that you're going to carry this time that's going to help you, and, and what might make a difference from being there before? I just experienced last time the, the magnitude of the game. I think everyone understands how big this is, so we got to take it very seriously and just be dialed in and ready to go. I remember Leon saying something like to, to your group, saying, hey, take this all in, enjoy it. I think because he, he planned on you guys coming back. Well, now you're literally going back to Dayton. Yeah. Um, did you, what did, I mean, did that mean anything to you then? And what does it mean to you now that you're two years older and a little more mature? I think now, like I just, last time, and I think we all knew what it meant as much but this year we really do because we work so hard and I'm not saying that we didn't work hard last time but you're a senior and it's like this is your last go around so it's, it means a lot to us. Do you know anything about Dayton's basketball team? Nah we haven't looked at them yet but I'm sure our coaches will have us prepped. Oop. What's that like? I mean, like at least in a conference tournament, you're vaguely familiar with yeah. everybody, and this one you don't know anything about them. You play them on, on Wednesday. I know it's kind of it's kind of scary, but I'm sure because the coaches are probably working hard right now, just trying to get film and stuff ready for us. But I think we'll come prepared. What about having to turn around and leave tomorrow? I mean, uh, turn around, quick turnaround. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're gonna get our rest, get our um, practice in tomorrow, and then ready to go on Tuesday. What do you think when they look at you? They're gonna have no time. They're just like you're gonna have no time. What do you think they'll see in Boise State? Just a great team, you know, a high power offense. You know, our defense has improved a lot, so they'll have to deal with that. But I think they'll just come in with a very hot team. We won 16 out of our 15 or 16 out of our last 17. So I think, yeah, they're coming in for a very hot team. Nick, obviously, it was a little bit of stress, I'm sure, for you guys. But what was that feeling like leading up to and then when you finally heard that you were going? It was a little nerve wracking. You know, the first 16 went and you know, we went up there and, you know, you were. You know, obviously going through, you know, when are we going to come up next? But, um, yeah, obviously great feeling getting uh, getting in the uh, playoff game. Obviously we would have liked to be in the 64, but, you know, it's a great opportunity to go to Dayton, you know, get a win. Were What's, you guys the last day or two that was looking at all the bubble teams and the brackets and seeing where you guys were projected? Or? To be honest, no, nah, I think I was more watching the games and, you know, SMU and the games that mattered more to us to make it. And I think we weren't really looking at the bracket, more just the games that were, that were coming up in the last couple of days. How much did you know about the NCAA tournament growing up? What does it mean to you to be a part of it? Uh, to be honest, I didn't watch much, ba much basketball, like US basketball, but you know, obviously playing here the last two years, it's, it means a lot to make it to the NCAA. And you know, it was a great feeling. The first time I'm, I'll be going to the NCAA tournament, so it'll be great. I know that you guys said that, you know, or Coach Rice said that he felt like you guys did all the work you could do, but would it have been a little bit of a disappointment if you didn't hear your name called today? Uh, obviously, definitely. I mean, you know, a lot of effort's been put in since off season, and it's been a long, you know, long season. And we obviously would have been disappointed if we didn't get in, but I mean, we made it, so it's, it's a good feeling. What have the guys said so far, just in in conversation since the uh, selection was announced? Not much, to be honest. I think you know we're pretty happy with Dayton and the bracket we're in, and uh, obviously we just want to take it one game at a time and hopefully get a win in the first game. What about being to play Dayton and Dayton? It's gonna be pretty much a road game. For I know, I know. I heard the Dayton crowd's pretty. Uh, Pretty hostile out there, but I mean, we're just gonna go in and get the win, no, no matter what. You, I don't know if you're, you know, a guy who studies the entire college basketball landscape. Do you know anything about Dayton, or any, off the top of your head, or what's uh, that gonna be really. like? I know they're in the VCU uh, conference, but um, other than that, not much. But obviously, we'll learn a lot over the next couple of days about them, and you know, obviously, the coach is gonna you know, do their work and make sure we're ready for the game on uh, Tuesday. Have you unpacked yet? Not at all, but I will right now. So. <laughs> how, how do you kind of? 
shift your focus. I mean, it's going to be a chaotic 24 hours to get back out of town, probably. I know, I know. I've got a few exams and stuff for the next couple of days. And obviously, you know, teachers and then packing and then, you know, making sure, you know, everything's packed and obviously focusing on dating and, you know, it's obviously a stressful 24 hours, but we'll get it done.